Yeah. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. So, welcome to my performance testing real time training uh, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, I'll be uploading this uh, uh, recorded session, these demos. First five demos will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> and before starting the demo, so I would like to like uh, thank everyone for joining in a such, such a short notice. Uh, so, we will be running this batch as both online and classroom. First thing, so as we have, uh, you know, some equal number of inquiries for uh, classroom training. So I'm starting this uh, classroom batch near to you know, KPHB Metro Metro Station. It would be near to KPHB Metro Station, guys, or Mayapur Metro Station. So I'll confirm in one week. Okay. Uh, so I I think like few of you inquired for classroom training. So but this first one week we will be having online sessions uh, and I will be covering performance testing fundamentals only in the first one week. So by the time we start the tool, so I'm going to start JMeter in this batch, in this morning batch. So by the time we start the tool, like we will be having classroom time. Clear guys? Am I yes, audible? Yes, yes, yes. And we will be having both online and classroom. So this, got it, right? So uh, those who want opted for classroom will be joining for, um, in the classroom and those who want to join online, you, you can join online as well to, through Zoom meeting. Okay. And uh, this is my WhatsApp number. Please uh, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, to receive the free demo sessions and new batch updates. I have been posting some interview questions and uh, on my YouTube channel in the community tab. So please uh, you know, make use of them. So let me move. Uh, let me move to the agenda for today. So these are the concepts that I'm going to cover in performance testing fundamentals. Okay. So we'll have a look at uh, these course contents later on. So I would like to before starting before going going into the session, I would like to thank everyone who is part of my 16 plus years of um, performance testing and engineering journey. Right. And uh, particularly for my parents and family for their extended support, my app labs and. Uh, all PCSC colleagues are applapses and my colleagues, all my colleagues and mentors, managers in my professional career. One second, please. So uh, there are, these are few of my uh, man managers, colleagues and mentors who like whom I would like to mention and all my previous batch trainees and all my competitors who are giving healthy foundation. All right. So, and uh, yeah. This is the agenda for the today's session, guys. So I'll be giving a trainer introduction and unique features of my training plan and course duration and who all are the ideal participants for this performance testing training and placement and um, what are the career prospects and conversation for PT? What are the career prospects and you know, what are the our packages that you can expect in both service and product-based companies and digital platforms we are leveraging for training and course contents for beginners and advanced level participants, scripting scenarios to cover in the training, right? If time permits, I'll be giving an introduction to performance session today. Otherwise, we'll take it up on the in the next demo. That is tomorrow. All right. So let me start with my introduction. So I'm an MCA graduate and I'm having 16 plus years experience in IT and 13 plus years experience in performance testing and engineering. I started my career as a Java developer. Uh, I have, I, I was having like three plus years experience as a Java developer. So which helped me a lot during this performance testing and engineering journey. And I work for uh, AppLabs Technologies. So AppLabs Technologies, if you know, if anyone of you heard it, it's one of the world's first largest independent software testing company. Uh, so established by our, uh, you know, Redis are from our AP, Nellu, AP, Nellu District AP, Andhra Pradesh, right? And it evolved as the world's first largest independent software testing company. Later, it was acquired by CSC and uh, that is history. Right? And I, there I got chance to work on multiple uh, tools like load on web load, sim performer in retail, healthcare, banking and finance domains. And later on, I worked for Tech Mahindra, which is another service based company. Uh, there I got, apart from the regular web and web protocols, there I got chance to work on uh, multiple load and other multiple uh, load and protocols like true client java we use uh, right and uh, citrix comdecom oracle nca oracle 2 tier oracle web apps 11 these are the different protocols that i worked when i was working for tech mahindra 
later on i joined bank of america which, which is a product based company so ba continuum is the actual company name and it is a system con concern company of for bank of america and they do all the software development and testing required for ba continuum does the uh, software development and testing required for bank of america right so there i got chance to work on banking domain and expertise in jmeter jenkins splunk intoscope dynatrace and all these tools uh, I am a certified associate in JMeter Splunk and Dynatrace as of now. Uh, thereafter, I worked for Innomens. Innomens is one of the top 10 dream companies to work for. It got national brand, best employer brand uh, uh, from 2018. It has been continuously getting that. And uh, I also worked for SAP Labs, one, one of the reputed product-based organization as a principal performance engineer. And worked for State Street. That is another product-based company that I worked for. And this is my last company. Uh, Qualizil India LP. I, there I worked as a performance test architect. All right. So this is about my experience, professional experience. Okay. So this is about my myself and my professional experience. Let me move on to the next slide. So having said that, so let me explain the salient unique features of my training base. I'll go to slide some more in the spotlight. So I'm going to provide training on enterprise Java applications, not just web tools and JPEG store. That is first important thing is. So these are web tools and JPEG store are very basic demo applications. Um, whereas I'm going to cover training on, uh, I'm going to give uh, scripting exercises and training on enterprise Java applications. So a few of my current batch students also joined today. Uh, so they joined, completed load turner load and uh, they are going to join uh, in this batch for JMeter. They are going to continue JMeter, uh, this batch for JMeter, right? So daily, we'll be having daily assessments for the first uh, five, 10 minutes. I will be asking some questions on the previous day concepts and there will be theory or script for, for, for the first 10 minutes. Thereafter, like there will be theory or scripting sessions for 15 to 60 minutes per day. Typically, my session would be for one and a half hour. Uh, so this is the breakup of that one and a half hour. And the last 10 minutes would be for Q&A session or doubt clarification. So script, I made scripting simplified and easy to understand even for a non-computer style. And basically, performance testing itself is easy. Uh, again, like if, you know, like any non-computer guy also, you know, they were able to uh, follow the training and they are able to practice and uh, crack interviews on their own. So we had made sim uh, scripting very simplified and easy to understand. And most of the scripts that I cover in the training will be are from different companies interviews. Uh, important thing is most of the scripts that we are uh, covering in the training are from different companies interviews. And scripting hands on mandatory for every participant. Every participant should work on the script and share it for review. That's mandatory for everyone. Right? So after the training, you will be able to complete JMeter certification for sure, uh, JMeter Pro certification for sure. So apart from that, if someone is inter interested in ISTQB certification as well, yes, you can attend attempt that and, and clear that ISTQB certification. And uh, I'll be covering uh, web web services and API testing uh, with both Loadrunner and JMeter. And hands-on training on scripting with real-time examples at 15 plus scripts given in scripting tests of various companies interviews, right? So I'll be covering almost 15 scripts with each tool, Loadrunner, uh, 15 scripts with Loadrunner and 15 scripts with JMeter, right? And five sample applications, after completing five sample applications, I like, I'll be covering two real-time applications, one real-time application with Loadrunner and one real-time application with JMeter for scripting and test executions. Okay, I'm also applying sprint-based model to the training just to make people aware about uh, like how, you know, like uh, how agile methodology works and you know, what is a sprint and how does a sprint works and all this in real-time projects or in real-time scenarios. So I have, I have been applying sprint-based model to the training. And uh, this is something like which we want to implement strictly from this batch, uh, table topics and presentation by the participants. Uh, because what I observed is like most of the people are, though they are technically good, they are unable to present themselves in the interviews. So we have been doing this on and off till now. Uh, but however, so from this batch onwards, we want to do it regularly. 
you want to do this uh, table topics table topics means like uh, any every participant should pick up some topic of their choice and speak for a minute at least one minute right so we are we we want to implement this strictly uh, regularly you know, from this batch onwards so because you know like you know the scenario outside like you know job market is a bit subdued and uh, uh, so definitely we need uh, like uh, very good communication skills as um, apart from the technical skills so we want to implement this strictly from this batch uh, that is the reason main reason for that it will it will be consuming some time but still like we want to implement that uh, uh, strictly and what are the digital platforms we are le leveraging for training assignments and assessments so we i'll be i have been conducting weekly tests uh, for the first one or two weeks like we'll be having weekly tests and thereafter you will be having daily assignments daily scripting assignments yes. right so i'm using google classroom for that so let me quickly show that so this is the google classroom that i have created for december 2022 batch and we completed a, a load uh, sorry <coughs> Yeah, this is my previous batch, one of my previous batches where we completed load runner and I'm going to start JMeter from Feb, right? So this batch was started in, uh, load runner was started in December and we completed this month. Uh, and we are, and I'm going to start JMeter in this batch, right? So those batch guys also will be joining once we complete performance testing fundamentals, right? So along with our current participants, so those guys also will be joining from the current batch, from the, um, uh, you know, from the current uh, load runner batch, right? Uh, once we complete the performance testing fundamentals. So here you can see that, you know, like I will add every participant to the Google Classroom and uh, I'll be giving assignments over here, something like this, right? So it will be daily assignments almost on a daily basis or, you know, uh, uh, three, for every three days, so definitely we'll be having one scripting assignment. Okay. So these are few digital platforms that we are leveraging for scripting assignments. Apart from that, I am using another online platform for uh, weekly tests, right? And uh, coming to placement assistance, this is the optional thing. So this is in addition to this training. So we are providing placement assistance, right? So where we are providing resume preparation and three to four real-time projects training in the classroom and five mock interviews after the training. So I'll be taking first mock interview will be taken by myself. So once I feel that you are good to go, for, uh, good to face uh, real time interviews, right? So I'll be scheduling four more interviews, mock interviews with the help of my friends who are working in service based companies and product based companies to those who are interested to attend mock interviews. And you can see one of the mock interview of my one of my previous batch student. So let me quickly share it, go to my channel and quickly share it. So please go through that mock interview and see how, you know, see the confidence that, you know, she was, uh, see what, with what confidence, how much confidence she was, uh, you know, answering the, in the mock interview. Guys. Let me quickly show you this. So, yeah. So this is one of the mock interview that I took for my, one of my previous, ba previous batch student. Her qualification was BCom. And she was 2021 freshman. So please go through this video. I will be sharing it in the description in today's demo. I'll be upload as I mentioned, right? I will be uploading today's demo session to my YouTube channel and I'll be adding a link to this uh, mock interview also. Please go through it. <clears throat> right? So once that first mock interview is successful, so I'll be scheduling four more mock interviews with help of my friends who are working for product-based and service-based companies. Earn while you learn, so I'll let you know like what is this earn while you learn uh, once you confirm your joining. So these are the unique features of my training guys, and these are the course contents for any questions over here. There's any questions over here? Okay, I'll take your silence as no. I'm moving to the next slide. So these are the performance testing course contents for beginners and advanced years. So right, right now, this is what we are speaking about, right? I'll be covering first, the for the first 10 to 15 hours, I'll be covering performance testing fundamentals, developer tools and fiddler, right? And then, we, so load runner is already like, we. I'm already having one batch for load runner in the morning, uh, nine to 10, right? So I'm, and uh, that is about to be completed this month end. 
So as I mentioned, right? So I will be starting JMeter from Feb onwards. So I'll be covering performance testing fundamentals, <clears throat> right? As I said, right? So I'll be covering performance testing fundamentals for the first 10 to 15 hours. Apart from that, so I'll be covering Loadrunner Professional 2022 and JMeter 5.5. JMeter 5.5. So training will come for uh, each two training will come for 60 to 80 hours. So let me quickly show you that. I'll show you one of the batch tracker. For every batch, I do maintain a batch tracker like this. Let me quickly show you that batch tracker. So here you can see the total number of hours completed, training completed is 72 hours for this batch, for this particular batch. We started with performance testing fundamentals somewhere over here. And you can see like I had started a load runner uh, from, yeah, this is where I started load runner, right? So till here I have been covering, I covered performance testing fundamentals for these many hours. How many hours it came to here you can see. For this batch, it came up to 18 hours. You can see it over here, guys. Right? This batch I covered like 18 hours for, for the first few 18 hours for performance testing fundamentals. And then I had started load runner. Clear, guys? So this is the same with every batch. So I'll be covering, you know, performance testing fundamentals from 8 to 9 for the next 10 days, uh, next 10 or 15 days. Uh, mostly we'll close it in 10 days this time. And I'll be, uh, you guys will be merged with our, uh, the current batch of participants who completed load runner will be joining along with you for JMeter. So that is a plan. That is a, a plan for a roadmap for this batch. Any queries guys? So for every batch, I do maintain a tracker like this and every batch, you know, it comes not less than 60 hours for me for each tool. I'm showing another batch what uh, tracker. This is my December 2022 batch, which is still in progress. Here I can see like the 36 hours of training is completed. And uh, this is evening batch, December 2022. This is evening batch. You can see the timings over here. So this batch is still in progress. Uh, so yeah, here you can see the applications that I'm covering and uh, number of participants and all this, right? Participant count and all this is all right. So moving on. So uh, uh, yeah, apart from tools like Loadrunner and JMeter, I'll be covering basic SQL queries and SQL tools like Toad, DB or DB Visualizer. And uh, Dynatrace APM training is optional. So it again comes for 20 to 25 hours. But along with this uh, Loadrunner Professional or JMeter, I'll be covering uh, integration of uh, uh, integration of load runner or JMeter with these APM tools uh, from your batch. I'll just I'll give one session on that how to integrate uh, performance testing tools with APM tools. I'll be giving one or one or two couple of sessions on that. So moving on. So just now I mentioned right. So I'll be covering. I'll be conducting weekly tests, and uh, these are the test results of my pre morning batch students. Yes, one of previous batch students. So once you complete the test, you will see the test results. Along with that, I'll be getting an email with your results like this, with your results and detailed score like this. There will be total 15 multiple choice questions. And here you can see how much time they have taken and you know what is the score that I have that uh, they have scored. Right. So she completed, you know, Anudipika completed test in two and a half minutes. She got 87%, right? 13 questions went correct and two. She answered two questions wrongly. And uh, here you can see the complete details. Once you click on detail score, you will get like what, which answer is correct and which answer is wrong. Right. So this is an, on, I'm using an online platform for conducting this weekly test. And these are a couple of more screenshots of on the same, uh, this weekly test, weekly online test. So observe here, I have given like not only those who got good scores, but uh, average scores are below average scores also. I have kept screenshots of it over here. Of course, you know, we don't want to highlight only, you know, uh, uh, good performance, but, uh, you know, but they picked up gradually. She picked up very, very good. Uh, this is the first week assignment, assessment, sorry, this is first week assessment. 
uh, she she has shown like good improvement in, from second week onwards so however we have screenshots in the week one assignments over here and uh, these are the success stories of my students so one of my student called uh, sravan he so he was from 2000 so he was 2008 pass out in electronics and instrumentation engineering from nellore he joined my training last year and he got into tcs uh, he is about to complete uh, one year next month or uh, in couple of months one or two months he is about to complete one year so he was 2008 pass out guys that is something interesting and something important to observe right he was from electronics and instrumentation engineering background uh, but he picked up very well and uh, you know even though there is a lot of career gap he picked up very well and he got placement within three or four months of his joining the training and one more offer uh, his name is Likil so he got into uh, he got multiple offers basically and this is one of his you know like uh, one of the offer that he got uh, this is from I think you know minds right and one more student uh, called Khalil so he uh, like uh, and there are a lot of other students, Khalil, Naeem, and uh, who are from civil mechanical background and who got into, uh, who got placement, who got multiple offers. A few of my students got four to five offer letters, right? Last year, when the market was good, of course, very good. The market was very good at that time. That's why they were able to bag like five, five offers in one month and they joined their, you know, uh, one of their, one of the companies. And here you can see this is one of the, another, you know, Another success story for one of um, of uh, one of my previous batch student Nandika, and uh, here you can see some Google reviews. So you can also do a Google search for performance testing real time training. Can you please do it, guys? So please open a browser, any of your favorite browser, and search for performance testing real time training, where you can see some Google reviews. Let me quickly show it. Here is my website and uh, you can see some Google reviews over here, given by previous kind students. So yeah, here are the testimonials. Yes. Okay. Click on view all and you will be able to see all the reviews. Yeah, this is our Madhapur branch, uh, our classroom in Madhapur. Yes. You can see, you know, like uh, 57 reviews currently and you can go, please go through the reviews and I can show you like, you know, uh, uh, the chart history of all the students, whatever st student you are seeing here, I can show the chart history, WhatsApp chart history from the moment they joined the training till they got placement of each and every student. Okay. Yeah, a few screenshots of what are, you know, of those Google reviews test for your quick information. So the little the same guy, like, you know, who got multiple offers and uh, I've shown you one offer letter, uh, one, you know, uh, offer letter previously, right? Just now, right? So these are screenshots of few Google reviews. And awards and recognitions for my students. Yeah. So I have a couple of students who are from non-computers background as well, from mechanical background. This guy is from mechanical background. So this guy is from mechanical background. So within six months of their joining with the company, they got best team member award and they shared their, uh, you know, that screenshot to me. And this is one of the screenshot. And uh, this is another screenshot where one of my students completed one year and he got very good appreciation from his manager. Uh, this guy is from, of course, CSE background only, computers background only. So he completed one year and uh, this is the appreciation mail, uh, you know, that he got from his manager. Okay. From head of the performance CYU. And yeah, so a few more screenshots and uh, yeah, one more thing that I want to, you know, highlight is, so one of my student got like, uh, 
Uh, yeah, Jagan Mohan, we will discuss the queries in the, at the end of the session. Please, you know, please hold back till end of the session. So, uh, one of my previous, uh, again, another previous batch student, like he, you know, within six months of his joining as a performance test engineer, so he got a performance bonus of 50,000. That is a screenshot that you can see here. Okay. So, this is the screenshot of that success story and uh, awards and recognitions for my students. They achieved this within the first six months of their joining with the company. So this is the power of uh, real-time training, uh, you know, or uh, getting a placement through your own, the tracking interviews and getting placement through your own, right? So they have proudly shared those screenshots and their their recognitions to me. Yeah. So these are few success stories in the past one year only, guys. So in this way, like we have a lot of success stories in the past three years. I have been giving these uh, online trainings on the past three years, uh, from 1990, 2019 onwards. I have been giving these uh, online trainings. And previously, I ran a couple of classroom training batches as well. And we are going to start classroom training post this pandemic uh, from next month. All right, any queries here, guys? I will take a pass here. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please uh, subscribe and uh, turn on all notifications so that you will get uh, free demo sessions and new batch updates. And I am posting interview questions as well. Let me quickly show you that. So occasionally, like I'm posting interview questions as well. Uh, so in the community tab, let me quickly show you that. And we are also offering free, uh, you know, spoken English training uh, from next month onwards. For our, pre, our, for our current batch students, performance testing batch students. So this is a notification that I have posted yesterday. So we are offering free spoken English classes for our current and previous batch students, manual and performance testing training students. Clear this? And those who are not our previous batch or current batch members, so we, there will be a nominal fees for them. And we have limited seats available. Please, you know, please enroll as soon as possible. Uh, so we are going to start this. Uh, as a weekend batch from next weekend onwards. Clear guys? So some other trainer, one of my training partner will be conducting those uh, spoken English classes. And I'll be posting interview questions like this guys. So don't miss this. So uh, I'll post these, you know, such kind of interview questions regularly and openings as well, right? And uh, updates on the new batches as well. Clear guys. So please uh, sub, uh, turn on all notifications. Then only you will get these notifications. Guys. <clears throat> Any queries, guys? Before we move to the next slide. Yes, oh. are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'll be starting this computer with the fun computer fundamentals. This is the main reason how why you know uh, main reason behind you know. Uh, we being able to train and place successfully even for non-computers guys. I will be starting with what is an operating system and what is system configuration, how to check the system configuration. So from that basic level, we are going to start. So this is the main reason why, you know, even non-computers guys were able to crack four to five offer letters, four to five companies interviews, and they are able to get four to five offer letters. I'll be covering this from these kind of basics, guys. right? So what is IP address? What is how, what is an operating system? How to check your system configuration? What is meant by IP address? What is public IP, private IP? What is host name? What is LAN and WAN? What is ping command used for? What is command prompt and elevated command prompt? What is a firewall in Windows operating system, right? What is remote desktop connection? Uh, Windows shortcuts that, uh, that will be helpful for in day-to-day day life, right? We'll be covering from these kind of fundamentals. I call that as know your computer, KYC. Generally, KYC means stands for know your client, right? So I just use it as know your computer. All right, so I'll be starting from these kind of basics and I'll be starting from software development life cycle and testing life cycle. We'll be discussing in the next dem demo sessions, coming up demo sessions what is testing lifecycle, what is functional testing, and what is the difference between functional and non-functional testing. 
what is performance testing so we will be covering from these kind of basics okay? you can just imagine and you can understand like you know how non competitors guys are all, also able to crack four to five companies interviews face to face interviews okay? particularly so in the last uh, one uh, one year like you know there are many people who are cracked the interviews face to face face to face interviews and they already joined their companies and you know they started their it career so i'll be stop uh, yeah so let me go to the agenda topics so what you know let us discuss few more you know agenda topics topics for the agenda for today yeah so i covered unique features of my training plan and uh, let let me explain who all are the ideal participants for this training so any btech or ncr msc computers or bca freshers or any full time degree any full time degree graduates who are in active it job search can join this training so 2007 to 2021 pass outs with career gaps and manual testing units this training is best suitable for those who are working as a manual testing unit because they already know they are, they are having good ex amount of experience in manual testing that will act as a very good foundation for either automation or performance they can go for either automation or performance particularly performance testing will be best career option for them because we have low coding or no coding right most of the projects doesn't require most of the performance testing projects doesn't require any coding so that's the reason this is the best career option for manual testing yes that's why i have highlighted here right and any passionate bpo bpo or non it employees who want to pursue it career particularly into software testing right beautiful thing good thing with performance testing is basic programming skills are enough even though you don't have basic programming skills see when i say basic programming skills if loop for loop these kind of basic programming skills are enough even if you don't have basic programming skills i will be covering those if loop for loop while loop and all this in the training okay however if someone is have already trained in java or python or c++ or sql or linux right so that will be added advantage for performance testing engineering career if you are already trained in java or python or c++ but you somehow don't like to go to coding side programming side or if you are already trained in sql or linux did that you know that knowledge will not go waste that will be optimally utilized here guys for in if you join if you uh, want to pursue a performance testing career so whatever training you took in these areas that will be added advantage to you that is a good thing with performance testing whatever you have learned till now will not go waste right it will be added advantage to you and you can expect like 3 to 4 lakhs more package than others and now what are the career prospects and compensation for performance testing pt for performance testing or kit right so what are the career prospects and what is the package that you can expect in service and product based companies so let me quickly explain that so if so ideally like uh, it's always you know those who are trained and uh, claiming some experience are those who are trying as a fresher so if you are going so you have two options one is to join a service based company and uh, the other option is a product based company so let me explain what are the packages that you can expect in sir both service based and product based companies right so service based companies you know guys can you can you give some list of service based uh, service based companies please tcs wipro cognizant cts right. uh, capgemini tech mahindra right capgemini <clears throat> so you know a lot of service based companies right <clears throat> there are a lot of service based companies thousands of service based companies and product based companies like in which we have performance testing lot of scope is like uh, jp morgan right wells fargo sap labs one of my favorite company right so uh, i worked there for 2 years in sap labs and uh, microsoft right google facebook these are all product based companies you know that <coughs> set up <coughs> clear this so bank of america this is one of my previous company i worked for sap labs in bank of america in this list all right and you have visa Right, Visa, Mastercard. 
there are a lot of product based companies as well. So what are the packages that you can expect when you join as a fresher as well as experience? So for freshers, so you can expect somewhere between three to five lakhs package. Uh, or you know, service based companies, you can expect uh, yeah, three to five lakhs package for freshers. And someone like who is joining with one to two years experience. So one of my previous batch student got six lakhs package for two years experience, right? The the guy who who is there in the previous screenshot, one of the you know success story over here. One second, guys. This guy got around six lakhs package. So who completed one year and you know he got some good appreciation, right? This guy got six lakhs package for two years experience. All right, approximately six lakhs. I can't disclose it. Uh, yeah, I can't disclose the name and exact package. So, however, like you know, for those who are trying with three plus years of experience, so the minimum package that they got in a service based company is 10 lakhs. 10 lakhs. 10 lakhs per annum. Right? For three plus years experience. One of my previous batch students called Hema Sveta. Her name is Hema Sveta. Yeah, she got 16 and a half lakhs package in Bangalore, Birla. Of course, this is two years back. I'm not sure whether she's with the same company or changed it, moved to some other organization. It's almost two years that, you know, back she got this package. Maybe she might have moved to another company also by this time. All right. And coming to product-based companies. So, Freshers, product-based companies, Freshers, so product-based companies offer somewhere around five to six lakhs for practice. Five to six lakhs or five to seven lakhs also. Right. Or, you know, to be uh, on safe side or to be uh, conservative, I'll list it as 5 lakhs per annum for freshers. For three plus years experience, guys. So one to two years experience, you guys you can expect somewhere around one to two years experience. Right. So they can expect somewhere around like um, four to eight lakhs or four to 10 lakhs as well. In product based companies, guys, please remember that. And three plus years experience, guys, like they, they, they you know, they got 10, about 10 lakhs package. Minimum 10 lakhs to one second. So 10 lakhs to like 15 lakhs package. Already few of my previous best students got into survey product based companies and they got these packages for three plus years of experience. So if you meet personally, I can show their offer letters as well. I can't share it online and I can't, I can't share it in a public platform like this. If any one of you want to, want you know to see their offers yes you can come and meet me personally i can show their offer letters okay so these are the packages that you can expect in performance testing career from both service based and product based companies case right and we still have a lot of openings i'll show you you know just simply google search for c there is a false uh, uh, assumption that you know like uh, Market is not good, or uh, you know, like uh, performance testing has very few openings. I'll show you something. So just search for performance testing jobs in Hyderabad, or any of your any of your location that you want. Right? You can see n number of openings. Right? So and uh, create a profile for yourself in Naukri and uh, upload a CV. Then you can expect at least like five calls per day. Right? Of course, for the past few months, it is not good uh, from December. December onwards, everyone knows that December is a lean period for recruitment. And December and Jan, particularly due, due to this festival season and year and vacations. So December and Jan were not so encouraging. So however, like we started reversal of the trend from last week, from the last one week, again, we are hearing uh, almost like, you know, Jan last week. Uh, we are uh, seeing very good openings in performance testing again. Uh, recruitment started, uh, resumed, and you know it is in full swing. So you can just create a profile and uh, check for yourself. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust anyone or don't trust me. You need not trust me also. Create a profile in Naukari and check for yourself how many calls you will get per day. But you need to have a, a CV for that with good performance testing projects and good skill set. That is important. So what are the tools that you are keeping in your CV? That is important guys. Not just load runner, JMeter and load runner won't be enough. Apart from that, you need a lot of supporting tools, right? So JMeter and load runner, there are hundreds of training institutes who are giving the training. 
So those wouldn't be enough guys. So please understand that. So I hear this from many students who are trained from other institutes. Load runner and geometer would not be enough, right? You need a lot of other tools, small tools in your CV like developer tools, Fiddler, Blaze Meter, right? And uh, the database tools like Toad, DBver, DB Visualizer, all these are required if your CV have to get shortlisted. Open some open source tools like Grafana, InfluxDB, InfluxDB, Grafana, Telegraph, and Alexstack. These are required, guys. Please understand that. So some people say that you know, like just keep Loadrunner and JMeter. Say that you know, I am not getting calls. So that is not a correct approach. So you need to know what is the market demand. What are the tools in? What are the open source tools? Different open source tools that are in demand today. I am covering these InfluxDB, Grafana along with JMeter. Telegraph and Alk stack along with JMeter base. Okay. With regular JMeter course, not advanced concepts. I am covering this JMeter integration with this Inflex DB Graphma and all. From the last one year, I have been covering with a basic course as well, basic JMeter course as well. So this was this slide was prepared last year. So those who let me show you my batch tracker. I'll show that you know I have covered these concepts in my uh, JMeter batch. Let me quickly show that. So this is number, uh, this is load runner JMeter. That means, you know, first load runner will be started and JMeter will be start, next started in this batch. So that is the naming convention that I follow. This is current JMeter batch. I haven't, uh, you know, we are still in scripting phase in this batch. I'll show you one of my September batches, September batch tracker quickly. Yeah, this is my September 2022 batch, which was already completed. And you can see here total number of training hours completed is 63 hours. And you can see, I'll show you like, you no, know, on which date I have covered Inflex DB graph. Now here you can see this, right? I covered that on uh, December 2nd, right? On December 2nd, I covered JMeter integration with Inflex DB graph. Now metric visualization in graph. Now Java melody tool. There are a lot of other small tools that you have to keep in your CV guys. Nmon, Fiddler, right? Blaze meter, right? So custom coding using bean shell, JSR 223 sampler. So without these, you know, don't expect calls days. AWR report analysis, Java memory leaks, Kubernetes basic concepts, Blaze meter. So I'll be covering this uh, with the corresponding tool. For example, Influx DB Grafana is widely used with JMeter. So in the JMeter, I will be covering these open source tools. Clear this. So please don't you know need uh, you need not trust anyone. Keep a CV with this skill set. Definitely you'll get a lot of calls. If you are still not getting calls, like you know, uh, please opt for uh, placement assistance through us. I am providing real time project training on weekends. I can show you placement. Those who are trained in other institutes, uh, we'll have a quick assessment of you. We will take a quick assessment for yourself, and we will uh, we are ready to provide placement assistance in two or three months. But so we will be having some initial assessment and you have to follow the instructions or follow the proper guidance. Okay. So I will close it here. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, guys. Hold on, hold on. Let me quickly see if I missed any important agenda topics today. So this is covered career prospects and compensation for PT. I covered this as well. Digital platforms we are leveraging for training. Course contents, you know, I will be sharing. Uh, I already shared to few of you. So please share your Gmail ID so that I can, if you want, I will share the PDF document on course contents for uh, load runner and JMeter at the moment, right? And what are the scripting scenarios that I am going to cover in the training? Let me quickly show you that as well. So these are the different applications that I am going to cover in the training, guys. One or two demo applications won't be sufficient. Please understand that, right? Just web tools or JPEG store won't be sufficient. So of course, I also start with web tools and JPEG store. I also cover them. However, apart from those, I cover these are the multiple applications that I cover in the training. So you have Konakart, which is an enterprise Java application. Advantage online shopping. This is another uh, demo application, of course. But you know, like uh, this is a modern application, uh, right? Uh, which is used by Microfocus for their client demos and Orange HRM, My Store. So, so I will not be covering training on only web tools and JPEG store. So I'll be covering training on these a few of these, you know, uh, enterprise Java applications and latest applications, as well as some real time application, one real time application with load runner and one real time application with JMeter. Flu 360 is one US project or US application where I, I am covering from scripting on, on that application. Right. 
and udemy is another real time application on which you know i cover some scripts hold on disable application so i am going to cover scripting on most of these applications case okay and as i said right so i'll be covering 10 to 15 scripts i will not cover each and every script in the training but i will make you do scripting once i cover user registration and login navigation on web tools application i will make you do it on same i hope i will make you do a script on the other applications like kona card jpeg store aos and all this if there are any new challenges i will be taking up in on the in the training clear guys guys are you with me yeah, yes, sir. Uh, it's almost nine o'clock. I have to start my, uh, you know, current load and batch uh, session for my current load and batch guys. I'll stop it here for today. So we'll continue our demos. Uh, you know, tomorrow we'll be having another. Tomorrow morning we'll be having another demo session, same time, eight to nine a.m. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, so please, uh, you know, subscribe and turn on all notifications, guys. So you'll be getting updates on my. Uh, uh, new badges and uh, job openings and interview questions as well. So Google search for performance testing real time training. Once you go to YouTube, so do a Google search for performance testing real time training. And I will be sharing the mock interview of freshers as well, guys. Please go through them, as I said. So just uh, search for performance testing real time training, right? And uh, this is my YouTube channel, guys. You see this logo, right? showing different types of performance testing and please save my contact so that you will get uh, only when you save my contact you will get the notifications notifications from me please save my whatsapp number guys. please save my whatsapp number as pavan mgm it training we are, and uh, we are starting one manual testing new batch for manual testing from next week I will be posting updates on my YouTube channel for those who are completely from non computers background. For example, I have, uh, yeah, one more thing I missed. Guess. There are people from B pharmacy background, D pharmacy background, and portal management background also who completed training and already they got job. And it's more than a year that they, you know, like they got job. So one of my previous batch student called Prashanti, right? She was, uh, you know, let me quickly show her data sheet. Guess. So she was from B pharmacy or D pharmacy background. Yeah, she, she was my student in 2021 uh, in March batch. As you can see here, her qualification is B pharmacy. She got 12 and a half lakhs package in a Bangalore based company during the pandemic time, right? She was from B pharmacy background. So apart from that, I have some people from hotel management background who got into performance testing career. Okay, so you have, you know, you can, if anyone is from Rajamanta surroundings, you can check with her. So you have her contact number and also you can check with her. Yes. All right, so I'll stop it here for today. Sir, I'm completely biology background, the problem is not yes, sir. No, but you should be good technically as well as communication analysis also. Uh, so you should be good in soft skills as well as technical skills. So any yes. Yeah, for that matter, let me show you some screenshots where TCS itself is taking, uh, asking for any degree. Let me show you that. So all they are asking is 15 years of full-time education. Thanks, uh, Anusha, for bringing that up. So I'll show you, I have some screenshot on this, 15 years of full-time education. Yeah, here you can see TCS is hiring for Pan India two to six years experience or one to six years here you can see experience that they are looking for one to six years and uh, yeah here you can see minimum qualification that they are expecting is 15 years of full-time education that's it right that means any degree is fine intermediate 12 years 10th up to 10th it's 10 years and then intermediate two years and then three years of degree any degree they are not asking like beta or mca or you know they are not asking bca or bsc computers Clear this, but it should be 15 years of full time education. That is the criteria. Any, any other queries, guys? Yeah, Kishore, uh, one more question. So, uh, which language we are using to write the script? Okay. So, in performance testing, you had two major tools. Yeah, sorry, I missed that. 
so there are two major tools and uh, tools which are in good demand nowadays one is load runner and uh, the other one is jmeter jmeter has more demand now so i'll keep jmeter first jmeter and blaze meter combination has more demand nowadays okay and the load runner so blaze meter is a small tool you can learn it in uh, one or two sessions that's uh, that's enough right so however these are the major tools okay jmeter is a, you know like a kind of a desert right so but these are main course right these are our main course jmeter and load runner these are the main course okay so i will be starting jmeter in this batch in the like from feb onwards i will be starting jmeter in this batch load runner i will be starting another batch uh, so i will be announcing those details soon uh, soon so now uh, if you sub, you know if you enable all notifications you will get uh, you will uh, soon get a notification on that and uh, jagan mohan there was a question from jagan mohan asking that uh, i have career gap is, is there any option for me uh, so yes so uh, it doesn't matter career gap doesn't matter uh, like uh, jagan mohan so uh, most of the companies are taking 2018 19 passed out also as freshers we have we do have some referral openings Okay. And they are expect they are asking like you know they are ready to take 2018-19 passouts are also as freshers. If you still have more career gap, yes, that's not at all not at all an issue. We will explain the plan like you know what are, what are the trainings that you have to take and how to fill that career gap, okay. right? And job support is not required, really not required if you take proper training and if you practice scripting daily, if you spend good amount of time and effort on training, right? So job support is really not required. Uh, so we have provided placement around like 200 plus students got placement through us in the last three years and none of them got back for job support. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you can try as a fresher as well as like, uh, we'll yes, we'll provide some referral openings. Uh, we do have currently we have like 12 plus openings for trained freshers. Right. Yeah. And we already forwarded some profiles to them. Uh, they you know, their interviews are in process. Okay. And also we have some contract to hire positions currently, right? You will not have, you, you need not worry about that background check also as, okay. as it is a contract to hire job. So we have currently like a, a contract to hire jobs for Bangalore based company, uh, right? So okay. you need not worry about this BGC also. Okay. Even though your BGC comes red, it is acceptable because it's a contract to hire and uh, Consultancy guys, they won't bother much about your BGC. As far as your client is happy, as far as you are doing the work properly. Okay. And as far as client is okay, they don't have any issue. Okay. Yeah. And duration regarding duration, right? So I will take minimum of one month race. It will be minimum of one month. It may go up to two months also for each tool. That depends on the batch. So if every member in the batch is grasping well and you know, I need not repeat the concepts again and again. So your your each tool will be completed in one to one and a half month. But if some people are slow and you know I had to repeat the concepts again and again, it will it will take two months also for each tool. So please understand that. Okay. 